Well, reading has become more diverse. There is certainly more reading, um, but not all of the reading uh, is with print books. Uh, there is more reading of e-books, and there's more reading of all sorts, newspapers, magazines, text messages, uh, chat messages, uh, and so on and so forth. It's very difficult in some ways to sort of dis uh, distinguish between all the different kinds of reading. It's just that there is more and more and more and more of it. Right, a lot of people reading on their phones or devices. What about access to books around the world? Has that improved in more rural and poor areas? Um, it has, although more slowly, but certainly in, in many ways that has improved uh, more dramatically in the last uh, uh, decade. Um, the traditional infrastructure for delivering books via bookstores really put a lot of pressure on infrastructure, um, whereas uh, e-commerce, in other words, delivering print books um, uh, bought on websites, has uh, dramatically improved uh, access uh, outside of metropolitan areas. And do you think people realize the importance of reading? I think it can never be uh, overemphasized. Um, it can be that people will pick images over words because they're easier uh, uh, to digest. But I think there is an awareness that uh, to succeed in the modern world, uh, you need to have all the tools available to you. And uh, if being an effective communicator, being a good storyteller is a part of everybody's life, personally and professionally. And the one great way to write effectively is to read well. Is there anything else you want people to know on World Book Day? Well, I think it's that books can do a great, great many things for you. Uh, they're not just sources of knowledge, and they're not just sources of entertainment. Uh, they are also tools for generating empathy. And I think that's something that a lot of research psychologists have been exploring recently, is that reading books uh, helps us become better judges of human character and more empathic, better able to put ourselves in somebody else's shoes and see the world from their point of view. And so, like I said, not just entertainment and not just education, but also empathy. Richard Nash, thank you so much for joining us from New York. Thank you very much.